And television as we know it was first introduced at the World's Fair 50 years ago in 1939. As early as 1923, David Sarnoff recognized the possibility of developing a television system. In an historic memorandum, he had this to say, quote, I believe that television, which is the technical name for seeing as well as hearing by radio, will come to pass in due course. That was a wonderful report, Aisha. Class, can anyone remember from Aisha's report who is the father of television? Bulk? Captain Kangaroo? No, Bulk. Obviously, you weren't paying attention. Adam? General David Sarnoff? Correct. Captain, General, what's the difference? Class, today we learned about the power of television as a communication medium. Tonight, as you all know, the Power Rangers will be on TV to spread their special message about the power of education. Tomorrow in class, we will discuss what they had to say and how it affects you personally. Class dismissed. Guys, I'm nervous. I never liked being in front of cameras. Don't worry, Adam. You'll be morphed and no one will know who you are anyway. Yeah, I know, but I still don't like cameras. Ah, come on. This is going to be a blast. Yeah, and if you think about it, it's a great opportunity to reach out to kids and teens all across the world with a very important positive message. Come on. Hey, Bulk, are you going to come to my house and watch the show? <laughs> Dimwit, we are not going to watch the show. We are going to be the show. <laughs> right. <clears throat> Simple Dimwit. We get backstage at the talk show. And when the time is right, we unmask those powered weeds on national TV. <laughs> Believe me this time, we are going to be rich and famous. Those starstruck power punks want to send a message to the world. Well, I'll give them all a message to remember and annihilate the Power Rangers at the same time. He is truly the biggest star of all. Bigger than ever! Silence, you blueberries for brains! Yes, yeah, silence! How may I serve you, master? Capture the Power Rangers while I create their evil twins. They shall give my message on TV. Guys, I am so excited to be on the Harvey Garvey Show. Yeah, it's such a cool way to spread a message. You know what? I'm kind of starting to like this superhero stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Stop right there, Power Rangers! <gasps> Pennies! Goldar! Come on, guys. Let's cancel these crews. It's Morphin' Time! Tiger Zord! Mastodon! Pterodactyl! Triceratops! Seventeen Tiger! Tyrannosaurus! <laughs> Attack my buddies! Crush them! Hey, buddies! Why do you play clutches? That impudent ranger! You've not seen the last of me this day! Whoa, what was that all about? Zed is definitely up to something, yeah. And Goldar said we hadn't seen the last of him. I wonder why there was no warning from Zord on this time. Well, this show's over for now. Let's get to the TV station. Let's yeah. go, right! Blast that worthless Goldar! He couldn't capture the Power Rangers' grandmothers! Now there's no time to create evil rangers! I'll have to come up with a monster to destroy them instead! You want them? Do you want them? You want them? You got them! 
you've come to know them and love them as superheroes, battling against unbeatable odds, fighting monsters of all shapes and sizes, protecting us from the forces of evil. They are proponents of goodwill and brotherly love, and here they are in their first national television appearance as the worldwide ambassadors of the International Education Council. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the one and only Mighty Morphin Power Rangers! Fabulous. You know, it really is an honor having you all here today. Well, Harvey, we're here to spread a message to kids all over the world. The way to be cool is to stay in school. Yeah, you got that right. It's the only way to get ahead. That's great advice, Rangers. Don't go away. We'll be right back with more Power Rangers after the short commercial break. Okay, don't powder me up. I don't want to glow when I'm on camera. Okay, look up. Okay. Okay, I got this. Ah. We got this. Ah. And we got the top there. Ah. Ah. I know how to do it. We're yeah. back. Okay. <laughs> now, Rangers, did staying in school help you to become Power Rangers? Well, let's put it this way. You can't become a Power Ranger without first developing your mind. You got it. And try to get good grades. It helps. <laughs> Our education has even helped us to outsmart Zed's evil monsters. Every single one of those monsters we faced had some special skill that required us to use our heads. Now, can you give us an example of that? Sure, there was a monster called Pudgy Pig who was devouring the entire world's food supply. Planet was in terrible danger. No one was safe. He seemed so unstoppable. It was horrible. <laughs> He even ate our weapons. <laughs> oh no, he ate the weapon. Okay, Butterbrain, listen up. When I tell you, let the third rope loose. That will in turn release sandbag number three, which will then drop onto the Rangers. Then we jump out on stage and pull off their helmets. You had it, daddy -o. What did you do? Well, we used our heads and reasoned that Pudgy Pig couldn't stomach spicy foods. So, we fed him some spicy radishes and made him so sick, it was totally gross. And it worked, and that pork began to spit up all of our weapons. <laughs> yeah. All right! The radish has completely incapacitated the monster. Fantastic. You really do use your heads. Now, Rangers, we'll come back to the issue of education in just a minute. There are a lot of viewers out there who are eager for a little more Power Ranger action. Well, isn't that right, kid? Don't. Are you sorry? Now, can you show our viewers how you do those incredible flying kicks? Sure, Mr. Garvey. How about if we give you a little lesson? Me? OK. Yeah, let's try this. Sounds like yeah, fun. That's the spirit. Come on. Give this yourself some good. room. First step is the correct stance. Put your weight on your back leg, then bend your knee and push off. Ready? Kick! 
Now your turn. <laughs> okay. And remember, the most important thing, focus. All right, well, I'm not real sure about this, okay? Aww. But here we go. Leg back. Right. Like that. Yeah. Good. Push off. <laughs> Kids, trust me. Don't try this one at home, okay? <laughs> Okay, Bulky, they're all seated. Pull it! There's got to be an easier way. So, the rangers like to clown around for the camera here. I'll give them a camera they won't find so amusing. All right! Kill this monster! Lights, camera, action! <laughs> ay, ay, ay! The alarm! What terrible timing! Oh, no! Do not panic, Alpha. The disturbance is coming from Angel Grove. Check the viewing globe. Ay, ay, ay! That created a monster from a TV camera! This is serious, Alpha. Alert the Power Rangers at once. But we can't, Zordon. They're on national TV. I'm afraid this emergency takes precedence. Contact the Rangers now. Showtime, Earthlings. Prepare to meet your doom. White Ranger, this one's for you. Okay. Whatever happened to the Green Ranger? Well, Harvey, <laughs> this is kind of a long story, but uh, I really prefer to just focus on the present. Come in, Rangers. Do you read me? It's another of Zed's monsters. What does Zordon want us to do? Teleport here at once. Gotcha. We're out of here. Hey, wait a minute. Who was that? Where are you guys going? <laughs> Sorry, Harvey. Duty calls. But remember, kids, don't be a fool. Stay in school! to make a name for himself by destroying you. Every scene's a fight scene. <laughs> he looks like a mindless mass of metal and glass. I told you I didn't like cameras. You must hurry, Rangers. Showbiz has already begun to tear up the city. <sighs> Lights, camera, we're morphed into action. <laughs> Look who's come to audition. Attack them, putty. Tiger 
chase. It's your final scene. Today we're going to test television's impact and discuss last night's most thrilling event. Students, what did you learn from the Power Rangers? Yes, Jonathan? Well, if the Power Rangers think school is cool, then so do I. That's wonderful. Rocky, what about you? Um, well, Mrs. Appleby, <laughs> they really reached out and touched me. Actually, class, they reached out and touched young people all over the world. I want to share this fax I received all the way from Switzerland, sent by your friends Jason, Trini, and Zach. Hi, gang. We just want you to know that everyone here at the Peace Conference in Geneva was touched by the Power Rangers message. Education is perhaps the single most important stepping stone to worldwide peace. We miss you all. Well, I guess that proves that TV really can help make our world a better place. Hmm. Where are Bulk and Skull? Hey, babe, uh, we've arrived. Let's do lunch. Uh, have your secretary call mom. Uh, we're big stars, you know. Would you like my autograph? I can like you, dweeb. OK, now, that's quite enough. Please take your seat so we can continue class. For being 10 minutes late to class, you and Bulk will be staying in school in detention every day next week. 